Hi guys, welcome to another Block Spotlight and today we're going to be looking at one called the Igneous Extruder. Now what this block will do, it will basically take the place of a cobble generator so it will play on the interactions between lava and water and we, we would have a lava tank on the left hand side and a water tank on the right hand side. Now depending on which of these uh, products you choose depends on how much of each you're going to get used up. Uh, it doesn't take any power at all and if you look at the uh, interface all we have is the redstone control tab and the configuration tab to decide where the orange output is going to go. Uh, we can pump in our our liquids on any of the sides so wherever you can pump in liquid or wherever you can fit a tube you can uh, you can pump liquid in and you can also drop in buckets full of uh, your liquid into the orange box there and that will work as well and just to demonstrate that let's get a bucket of water and a bucket of lava and we'll just show you here put the water goes in the right side and the lava goes in the left and because um, cobblestone doesn't actually use any um, any liquid up to produce um, cobble because uh, infinite cobble gens as you know are fairly easy to make uh, when I take this out it, should, it will start producing cobble and it's not going to use up uh, any of the uh, liquids in the tanks so it will produce one of those I think every two and a half seconds so that's what 50 ticks every 50 ticks it's going to produce a, a cobblestone although it does feel like it's going a bit quicker than that uh, it looks more like it's every second we're getting a cobble now if we were to change it to stone or obsidian because these actually use up um, liquids we won't uh, be able to do this infinitely this process will stop at some point we'll need to keep pumping in lava and water in order to uh, to get that to work right the recipe for this guy is a piston on top of a machine chassis and because we're not using buildcraft power this machine is using a servo and with glass on either side and there's our igneous extruder now I have a, a little setup here just so that we've got um, an amount going in and this is just producing cobblestone at the moment uh, I've got a magma crucible on the left side here which is just producing a lot of lava for us and a pipe which is not getting any power or whatever it's just automatically pumping that out much like the pump does with the water which I have set up over here which I'm sure you've all seen these little setups before this one is new though so we've got a little bit of uh, power stored up and that's just producing lava keeping these tanks reasonably full now at the moment we're just producing cobble and I have the output set to the top so in here we'll have a fair amount of cobble just churning away none of these are being used up at the moment so if I were to switch to stone now stone would actually use up uh, some of the liquids and it's going to take a little bit longer to do so as you can see there we lost some water to produce smooth stone and smooth stone is now set up there we'll have to wait until uh, this here actually they don't look like they're attached anymore maybe I need to have there you go, we need to allow them in by turning these orange, so obviously the orange is the input and the output in this case so you can only input liquids where you've set as an input which is quite cool as well so there we go, we're now producing stone but we are using up a certain amount of fluid in the process and 
if we switch that to obsidian we will actually use up a bucket of water and a bucket of lava all in one go and that as well will take a little bit longer but we will have uh, there we go so the igneous extruder is effectively a cobble gen a smooth stone generator and an obsidian generator all in one and assuming you've got a plentiful supply of lava and water water's always fairly easy to get a good supply of but it's the lava mainly uh, you can set up a very rudimentary or compact uh, generator without all the lag from typical cobble gens so these are, are very much appear to be blocks that are really well suited for server play um, liking the look of them so far I'm well, looking forward to getting a chance to play with them some more uh, let me know in the comments if I've missed anything out or I should have added something and be sure to hit me up on my Twitter page and check out my stream on Twitch and I will see you next time